In this video, we are creating a new stage. Let's open our reservation case type. And let's click on stage to add a new stage. I'm going to name it reservation details. And let's add a multi-step process. Here, the user will have three steps to complete. They have to add all the guests, apply any promo codes if they have any, and add their billing information. After this process, I want to show a view for the user to confirm all the information before the reservation is made. Okay, now let's start creating the properties and the views for each step. Let's start with guest information. Here I'm going to create a new property which is going to be of type page list. So we want to register each guest that is going to be staying at the hotel. For this, I'm going to add a new field and I'm going to create a property guest page list. and it's going to be of type embedded page, embedded data. Now, here we have these three options, data reference, embedded data, and query. If I choose data reference or query, then when I create my data object, Pega will also have a table in the database and it will create the data pages for this data type. But if I choose embedded data, then I will only create the data object and the properties of this data object. So I'm going to stick with embedded data for now. And I don't have any data object for this, so I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to call it guest. And remember that this is a page list. So I'm going to choose list of records. Let's click submit. Okay, so let's add some fields. So the first one is first name, last name, and I'm going to add a birth date. This is going to be of type date. So right now, what we created are two things. We created a page list property that is called guest page list. And we also created a data object. If we go over here to data types, you will see that we have this new guest data object. If I open it, we will see that we have three properties for this guest data type, for this guest data object. We have first name, last name, and birth date. And label is a property that is added automatically by Pega. Now let's continue to promo codes. So once again, I'm creating a page property that is going to be called promo code page. And I'm creating a data object for promo codes. In this case, it's only a property of type page, so only one record. I'm going to create a default view, and here I'm going to open it and add some fields.
once again, let's create another data object and page property for building information. Okay, for building information, I want the card holder name, card number, card type, CVV, and an expiration date. For this section, I'm going to reuse the view that I'm using over here. So I think it's called initial summary. So here in views, I'm going to find or search for summary. Here it is, initial summary. So I'm going to add this view here. Now, if I refresh my data types, you will see that we have three new data types. We have billing information, guest, and promo code. Let's run our case and see the new stage. Okay, so something that I would like to do here is to have some information when I run the case so that I can only click continue and not have to manually add a room here. So what I want is to have this information already here so that I can only click continue and go on with the case. Another thing that I want to do is to also have information here for username and password. Okay, this is the new stage. I have a guest page list, which I already have one item here. It's empty, but still is one item in my page list. If I want to remove it, I can click on delete. Or if I want to add more, I can click on add item. Then on continue, I go to the second step, which is to apply any promo code. So for example, I could add a promo code here. And then maybe I will have a discount, right? Like 20%. And lastly, here the user will add information for billing, for payment. After this, when they click finish, they will go to the next process, which has a new view. I'm reusing the old view from the summary, but this will have more information later. So one thing that I want to do before I finish this video is to add the login information in my development defaults data transform. So this data transform gets run from the PY default data transform, and this data transform runs every time a new case is created. So that is under reservation, data model, data transform, and it's this one, my defaults for development. So let's go to PY default. PY defaults runs every time a new case gets created. And here we have my defaults for development, where I am setting some values to make testing faster. So I'm going to update the account page the first name, I'm sorry, not the first name, the username and the password. Well, 
that's it for this one. In the next one, I'm going to start working on the first step of our new stage. In particular, I'm going to start talking about the different ways in which we can add new items into a page list property within a data transform. Also, I will start talking about the symbolic indexes that we can use for page list properties. See you in the next one. Thanks. Thank you.